hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing these really simple poly gel nails using mccart's classic kit so let's get straight into the video so i'm starting off by pushing back the cuticles i'm sorry for my left hand in advance it's gonna look really horrible throughout this whole video because i haven't had the time to do my own nails yet so here i am just pushing back the cuticles these has cuticles were quite soft so i didn't need to like push them back um with too much pressure or anything so try to be quite light-handed with that if the cuticles are already soft and then i'm going in with this bit that i got from my um, nail drill review from amazon i will link that down below i forgot again <laughs> what this bit is called but it's really amazing it's like a white hard it kind of feels feels like a pumice stone or pumice stone i don't know if i'm saying that correctly it kind of feels like that um so i will try to link um what like describe what this is called down below because i don't remember off the top of my head but i'm just doing this basically to pretty much remove any dead skin on the nail plate at the cuticle area and also this has really helped me to push the cuticles back even more um this was probably like mostly just to push them back more not really to remove like cuticle too thoroughly or anything so then that's what this bit is for it's just like a cone shaped diamond drill bit and i'm just going in first of all on the forwards rotation and i'm just gonna do the left side and this basically helps me clean everything right underneath all that dead skin and it helps me remove all those little white areas now i think she had these nails on for a really long time i think it was like two months or something um that's why a lot of the nails are missing because she ended up cutting them down herself because her nails were like really long so yeah now i'm going in the other direction and i'm doing the right side because i like to use the forwards and reverse direction on the nail drill by the way the nail drill i'm using is the one from mccart you can use my discount code nails by Camin to get yourself 15 percent off at checkout so please do use that if you want and also it is an affiliate link so i do make a really small commission but that does not come out of your um that 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 does not come from you so you can choose to use that if you want or if you don't wish to that's also fine i will also link that down below in case you forget and now i'm just using these cuticle cutters that i got these were new so they were really sharp and they were so amazing i love these so much they were just from amazon again because um as you know all the shops are closed currently so i can't really go out and buy them but this was actually pretty good like it was really good <clears throat> and it was like a much bigger sized one as well so it was a lot faster to remove everything and i'm basically just removing all that dead skin just as if you're not comfortable with this um then maybe um try to use like one of those round diamond ball bits to remove them if you can that definitely helps if you're not very confident with removing your own cuticles using nippers and now i'm using um this cone shaped um bit and this i just basically just used it to remove some of the product that there was on that nail i quickly shaped her nails and then i did base coat which i forgot to record i'm sorry it's just the makeup base coat and then i'm going in with the shade natural pink i believe it's called and this poly gel was super super natural as you saw in the beginning of the video it pretty much looks like clear but it has a really soft very very natural like pink tint to it which was like exactly what she wanted so this poly gel if you've not seen my last video on it or my last two videos on it it's absolutely amazing i'm not going back to using many other like poly gel brands i used to use before i'm definitely excited to use more mccart poly gel now especially now that i've tried them and i've i absolutely can verify that it really is worth the money um so yeah if you're interested to see those two videos where i did a review unboxing and also did like 
fringe tip nails with this kit it's the classic kit then i will link that down below but what i'm doing here is basically just applying the poly gel and it's as simple as it looks i'm just making sure that my brush is not too dry it's got some slip solution on there and do dab any excess slip solution off on your paper towel because you don't want that to flood the or touch the skin like the slip solution you don't have to use slip solution here i'm using uh, rubbing alcohol which works perfectly well as well and i'm basically just using my brush kind of dry for this poly gel not too dry though because obviously obviously it will stick and i'm just patting it into place i'm doing a really thin layer i'm not really worrying about structure or anything because these nails are short i'm just doing like a poly gel overlay and the more i started to work with this it became like more sheer which was really nice because you could see her natural nails underneath so she really liked that so yes the kit does not come with slip slip solution by the way so that's why i'm using rubbing alcohol and it uh, and it does come with a brush and i think six other poly gel shades this being one of them and i definitely think this kit is really good value for money so do check it out and you can buy this on amazon as well which is where i got mine from and again don't forget to use code nails nail by camin for 15 percent off at checkout Okay, so I've cured those nails now for 60 seconds and I'm wiping off the sticky layer because I was going to file. So this drill bit is a safety um, barrel drill bit and it's, safety, it's called a safety drill bit because the top is smooth. So even if it does touch the um, skin around the nail, like the cuticle, which is sensitive, it won't cut the client or um, they won't feel like any abrasiveness on their skin. So that's very good and the reason I used a fine drill bit is because this poly gel is super easy to fell like most poly gel and I think you really just don't need a lot of pressure to work with this poly gel. You can just even hand file it if you wanted to but I just wanted to use a drill bit because it was faster. I took down some length on this nail because it was actually longer than the others and I didn't realize so yeah you can just still shorten down the, the nails with this and it's still going to be easy to do that even with a fine drill bit because the poly gel was super soft to work with and the i'm just basically evening out the surface although it was quite even um this will just help smooth everything so that you don't see any weird bumpiness when you apply the top coat and that's basically why i'm doing this i'm also going to be um, smoothing over the top with my hand file um it's going to be the 180 grit McCart also does include a hand file in this kit which is absolutely amazing but I keep forgetting to use it but yes I promise it is absolutely amazing as well and I'm basically just gonna smooth over to make sure to get anything that the drill bit did not get and you'll see me do that in a minute <laughs> So here I am just quickly filing the nails um, to make sure that the shape is fine and quickly smoothing over the top as well. And I'm using a 180 grit file. Let me know down below if you want me to try any other McCart kits because I'm actually really looking forward to trying more out. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and I'm really grateful for every single subscriber because now I'm almost at 6k or maybe I will be at 6k by, this goes, by the time this goes up so thank you to everyone. Every single subscriber really means a lot to me. Again, don't forget to hit, to hit the like button if you're enjoying this so far. 
now I'm just wiping away the dust to make sure that it does not get all up in my top coat that I'm going to use. So I'm using the McCart gel top coat which I'm wearing on my right hand and this top coat is like super shiny like it doesn't dot like I've had this on my nails on for about a good couple of days now and it still looks as good as I applied it so here I am just finishing off the nails and this was a really fun video to film. I like to switch it up a bit from doing the long nails. I just wanted to do something nice and short. And look how much better the thumb looks now compared to before I really <laughs> like like the before and after type videos. Let me know what you guys think down below. So now I'm just finishing off her nails with some cuticle oil and I'm just rubbing that in for some pictures of course and that's pretty much it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching and let me know down below what you guys think of these nails and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys